In this video, we look at the basic operations and components of AI systems. This video describes the basic operations and components of AI systems used to simulate intelligent behavior. It assumes you've already watched our introductory video on AI. There are many different types of AI systems, but the two you need to know about for the exam are expert systems and machine learning. Let's go through each of those now. Expert systems attempt to mimic human knowledge and experience. In essence, they use a combination of knowledge and inference in order to solve problems or answer questions in a similar way to that of a human expert. There's some examples here of how they're used. They can be used to identify animals, plants, chemical and biological compounds, diagnose patients and their illness, carry out financial and tax calculations, logistics such as efficient routing of parcels to delivery, diagnosing faults in mechanical and electronic equipment, and suggesting potential new sites for oil and other resource extraction. There are many advantages to expert systems. They offer a high level of accuracy and expertise. Their solutions and diagnostics are traceable and they produce very consistent results. They tend to have a much faster response time than human experts and they can store vast amounts of facts and data. They're also unbiased, simply reporting and analyzing on facts. Of course, as with all systems, there are some disadvantages. They can only ever be as good as the data or facts entered into the system. The system therefore needs to be used correctly and this takes training. Dangerous decisions can be made by users who assume the expert system is infallible. And the responses provided can appear very cold and lack the human touch offered by a real expert. So expert systems are made up of a number of different components. There are four main ones that you need to know about. First, we have the user interface. This is the method by which the user interacts with the expert system. It will typically include dialog boxes, prompts, and other input methods, which present a series of yes or no questions based on the responses to the previous question. There's a knowledge base. So the system has to initially be set up with a repository of facts. It attempts to store all of the knowledge about a given area of expertise, and this can be obtained from a variety of expert sources. The knowledge base is essentially a collection of objects and all of their attributes. Next, we have a rules base. This is essentially a set of logical statements, much like if statements. These inference rules are used by the inference engine to draw conclusions. And then finally, the inference engine, and this can be considered the main processing component of an expert system. In essence, it acts like a search engine, searching the knowledge base, making use of the inference rules from the rules base in order to come to decisions. So here we have an incredibly simplistic and highly abstracted example of an expert system. We have a number of objects down the left hand side and then some attributes in the three columns and this would form the knowledge base. We then ask a series of questions. Does it travel on water? No. Does it travel in the air? No. Is it powered manually by a human? Yes. Does it have two wheels? Yes. And then here, our expert system has concluded that we must be talking about a bike. Now let's consider machine learning. So as we've already said, this is a subset of AI. In other words, one way of achieving artificial intelligence. It's the science of training a device or application to perform a task and improve its capabilities. It's achieved by feeding it data and information and scenarios so it can learn over time from its past experiences. 
Most machine learning systems have similar key characteristics. It is possible for them to make predictions or take decisions based on previous scenarios and outcomes. The ability to manage and analyze vast volumes of complex data and they can provide fast and accurate outcomes. So just so we're really clear, let's make sure we understand the difference. With artificial intelligence, we're simulating intelligence and machines. We're aiming to create machines that are capable of thinking like humans. With machine learning, we are considering the practice of designing machines to make decisions without being programmed to do so. Here, we're aiming to create machines that can learn through the acquisition of data and experience so they can solve new problems. Now, machine learning is an incredibly popular area of computer science at the moment. In 2019, 78% of all investment into AI was directed at machine learning. And on the screen now are just a few examples of the areas where machine learning is being used. One great example of machine learning is the auto friend tagging suggestion feature found on many social media sites such as Facebook. It can automatically suggest friends from new photos you upload by using its own machine learning facial recognition system. Facebook's system was called DeepFace and the system uses a nine layer neural network with over 120 million connection weights. It was trained initially on over 4 million images uploaded by users and continued to learn as more images were added over time. It has been recorded that the human accuracy of facial recognition is around 97% and Facebook's deep face achieved the same rating. The FBI's facial recognition software has an accuracy of 85%, whereas FaceNet developed by Google has a 99% success rate. This has led to a series of moral and ethical questions about social media sites storing these images in order to compare and learn from. That's everything you need to know for this video. Pause now and take some notes.